Mind yourself. There's a vicious bear on the loose. You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Ethran expects of me. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Isran is anything. He's stubborn. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Hey, look, a cave. Wonder what's inside.
got a bad feeling about this. Time to end this little game. Hey, what? I'll kill you!
you lost? Welcome, child of Malachi. Your kin bids you welcome to our stronghold. This is our stronghold. Here we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Nords. You must have been away from your kind for a long time to forget. Come, speak to the chief and the wise one. I'm a strict follower of the old traditions. Ah, you are speaking to Lorak, chief of Morkaskar. Yes, I... One day, I will have a son who will challenge me. Until then, I alone have the right to have wives and children. It ensures our strength. The Code of Malakath. It is both tradition... The Code is not written anywhere. It is known and carried on by the orcs, and all for an outlander, following it is simple. Do not steal or attack anyone in the strong. How about a test? Your muscle against mine. The victor gains 100 gold coins. This will be good training. Let's go. Come on, I see what you made of. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Next fight bring you victory, friend. There are a few great strongholds worthy to talk about. Dushnik Yal, Morkas Gur, Nozzle Burr, and Lagash Burr. Fight well. I'm a strict father of the old traditions. Honor, strength, deeds. The forge is strong, and so is our chief, Larak. I'm content. I envy you, Outlander. You can choose. Yes. But I must stay here and wait for the day when I'll be married. It is our way. And I am proud to follow my people's tradition. I couldn't. It would shame my chief, and my mother, and foremothers. What do you know about my people? That is a fine idea. The stronghold would need the gold when I left to marry anyway. I am ready when you are. You already have something to do for you. Don't need me. I'm a blade now. I can hardly believe it. Yeah. This is fresh. We have a cozy little prophet. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. As you wish, my Thane. Dragonborn, as you command, my Thane. How can I serve you, my Thane?
Lead on. I'm a blade now. I'll head back home if you need me. <clears throat> May your weapons be sh lead then. You have my steel. I am one. If you wish to trade, see me during. We have lived in Scott. Only the bravest are allowed to leave. Wise women like myself are mothers of chieftains. We guide the tribe and advise our kin on what is most pleasing to Malakath. He is our creator and master, the Daedric Lord of the Sworn Oath and the Bloody Curse. Malakath teaches us to honor all words with action. To demand blood from your enemies, and strength from your allies. He watches over all orcs as his children. A truth those who leave the stronghold are quick to forget. Hmm. An orc follows to the death. Fine. Let's trade then. Go where the challenge is greatest. Are you looking to work? The forge is strong, and so is our chief, Lara. I'm content. I'm a strict... You should see my forge wife, Shufthars, if you need weapons or armor. I am wise woman to this stronghold. We can trade in the morning. It is said that, by tradition, a mother always teaches her children how to smith. If a chief has a second wife, if you wish to called trade, the forge see me during daylight. Mm hmm. All right. I have. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Until next time.
Just one gyro. One, and I can get back to work. Where are they? You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Just look around, will you? Isron? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires. Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact Dwarven Gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another Gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that with at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. Farewell. want with my satchel anyway farewell I understand a single gyro would be enough I think thank you it's not much but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching now where is it Isran expects me to go ah been working more on his secret hideout has he it'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Until next time. I guess I'll see you at Fort Donga. Have a grim look. Fine. Let's trade then.
Malakath witness our deed. Need something? Isra, you've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with the child. showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I had it, and why I was down there, it all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? Hmm. 
Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Set my hatred aside. Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. I... Well, I'd come with you, but I don't know if I can trust your friend. Let me know if you want me along. one day. I knew. And no one believed. Be on your guard at all times. The Jarl's in danger. A vampire plays as a visiting advisor to the court. Destroy it before it's able to complete its foul business. But be warned. The Jarl's guards are unaware of the threat and will treat violence against this advisor as a crime. Convince the Jarl of the threat and he'll let you destroy the creature. If not, then do your best not to get caught. Quickly now. The longer you delay, the more danger the Jarl is in. Watch your back. If you want to come along, it has to just be me. I'll tell you, the only thing more surprising than hearing from Isran after all these years was hearing that he wanted my help. I immediately realized things must be pretty bad. Looks like I was right. Sorin needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Isran. He has something for you. I have. There was a time years ago when we were both members of the Vigilance, and both equally dissatisfied with them. 
Their hearts are in the right place, of course. But Isran and I were never comfortable. We left together, but that partnership didn't last very long. I didn't agree with some of his methods. May you always prevail. What do you want? I lost two wives to vampires. I will avenge them. It's good to know that I will not have to do it alone. I'm glad this Dawn Guard exists. Until next time. <laughs> if you're putting yourself in harm's way, you'd best be prepared. Take these. Working metal isn't easy. Let me show you a few things. Working metal isn't easy. Let me show you a few things. East Run had a surprising stockpile of weapons and armor. Take a look. If you want to come along, it has to just be me and you. Well, this isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. Tron needs me. It must be pretty bad. I wonder what we're up against here. Here's everything I have. Sorry there isn't more. Here's everything I have. Sorry there isn't more. Capabilities. I've done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. I take them apart, look around in their guts, and try to figure things out. With mixed results. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. So, if you'd be a deer and collect those plans for me? I've only heard stories. Not sure if any of them are true. Like that they were supposed to guard some vampire here, but wound up all becoming vampires themselves when they saw how powerful he was. And then preyed on the rift until finally someone put them down. I guess it doesn't matter now. At least Isran is trying to do something noble with the name. Until next time. Getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. Cozy little place, isn't this? Hmm. I've heard the rumors around Skyrim. I felt I had two choices. I could either live in fear of the night, or I could do something to help protect my people. 